PARP inhibitors are a class of drug that inhibit an enzyme called PARP, uh, PARP1 and PARP2. People will have heard of them more often as, say, Alaparib or Linpasa, which is actually its, its trade name. But there are several of them from different companies. They all have similar mechanisms of action in inhibiting these PARP proteins. And what they're doing is that they're exploiting a special vulnerability of one of these subgroups of ovarian cancer. So they're particularly commonly used in women with high-grade serous ovarian cancer, the most common type of ovarian cancer. And the cancers that are called HR defective, which sounds, you know, that's a little bit complicated, but basically these are the cancers that have a defect in their ability to repair DNA. And what the PARP inhibitors do is that they exploit that vulnerability um, by damaging the DNA in such a way that it's hard for the, the cancer cell to repair it. And so they've been used in different settings. Initially they were used when the cancer came, if a cancer recurred, and they'd be used in when a patient relapsed. Most excitingly and most commonly now, they're used much earlier than that. And so in Australia, the guidelines are for women who have certain types of ovarian cancer, for them to receive PARP inhibitors as a maintenance, as an ongoing treatment after they've finished their surgery and initial chemotherapy.